and it's away and the first corner which they will be getting up to racing speed at is the Grand Courbe. Well running brand new tyres like that at the start of the race is not that normal and just shows you how important tyres are. Eddie Irvine, we're looking at the back of him, does not have them. Peeling away in the distance through that flat out 160 miles an hour corner and then it's that notorious, this is looking back at the start as they come through here. This first corner actually, although it's very fast, is not the hardest corner on the circuit. It's this one as we said before, is this long, long, long right-hander, the Estoril right-hander. Now at the end of this straight, you're going to see them come right down to second gear for the Adelaide hairpin. This is where we've seen drama in every Grand Prix at that corner there. Last year, Lacey ran up the inside of Johnny Herbert. Here this morning, Damon Hill clouted Frenson. And that's a front problem for Schumacher already. It looks like Schumacher's engine is gone on the warm-up lap. Now, that is incredible. It looks as though for the second Grand Prix in succession, Schumacher has hit a problem right at the start of the race, and he has. Before the race begins, Brett Schumacher is out of it. It reminds me of the time that Alain Prost went off at Imola on the formation lap, also in a Ferrari, and Schumacher fails to start. The French Grand Prix will therefore fail to get the points that he desperately wanted to close the gap to Damon Hill there is a replay of the engine going and Damon Hill of course will think that all these Christmases have come together because he's seen the man that might have beaten him into the first corner out of the race a quite sensational and I do use the word advisedly happening at the beginning of the French Grand Prix Schumacher well I was going to say disconsolate body language but I think he's so amazed but he can't believe it is true. He's worked and worked and worked for this situation. So now Damon Hill is effectively in pole position on the right-hand side of your picture. On the left is Jean Alesi. Behind Alesi is Rika Hakkinen. And Gerhard Berger, of course, is moving up a place as they slot into their positions. There are 21 cars starting now instead of 22. Number two on the rear wing there is Eddie Irvine starting last in the sole Ferrari in the French Grand Prix. And that is Jean Tote, the top man. Watch for the lights to go out. Out. Go. David Hill moves across. Into the left-hander at the Grand Corb. And Damon Hill in the Williams leads. And Mika Hakkinen is up into third position in the very powerful Mercedes-Benz uh, Mercedes engine McLaren. So it's Hill and Lacey 